uh, good evening. So we will be going ahead with the session of uh, happy hip spine and your pelvis region today. So before we start the session, we would really wanted to take a quick poll today. We really wanted to uh, understand few things from you. So I will request uh, Satish will be putting up a question on the webinar. So you will need to respond to that question. Satish, if you can just put in the first question. So you can directly reply on the poll itself. Just think, what are you feeling right now? Are you happy? Are you angry? Are you tired? Are you sad or are you anxious? Okay, I hope all of you have put in your answers. We have one more question for you and uh, the next question is, the question is coming up. So today when we end the session also, you will be getting, a, after the session, you will be getting a survey link and uh, answers. You will get some questions for which you will be needing to answer. So requesting all of you to do and uh, respond to those questions as well. So here now we are going to start the session. I want each and every one of you to be on your mat in a cross-legged position. Just be comfortable on your mat in a cross legged position. So what you can do is you can place your right leg resting completely closer to your pelvis region, your left leg, right, uh, left leg outside completely on the mat. You rest completely, you relax yourselves, move around, just firmly root yourselves to one posture. Take a good deep breath, inhale. Exhale, just concentrate and we are going to be part of a session right now. Nothing else matters. One more inhale. Exhale. I want all of you to close your eyes. Take your hands in front of your chest in form of a namaste. We take one deep inhalation and together chant one omkara and we will start the session with that. Together inhale. Oh. Relax completely. Just the arm that is kept in front of you in the namaste, just rub your palms against each other. Generate some heat between your palms. Keep rubbing and generate good heat. Once you feel your palm is heated, slowly cup your eyes. Transfer all that warmth into your eyes. Be ready. Keep everything else aside and we are going to concentrate in the next session. Namaste everyone, we are going to start the session. So we'll start with the basic warm up and today our warm up is going to be in a seated posture itself. So right now you are um, in a cross legged position, right? What I need each of you to do is, you are going to join your heels, your the foot, the under part of your foot, you're going to join them together and you are going to take it as close as possible to your uh, pelvis region some of you i mean it depends on your flexibility also some of you you might be able to take it only this far but that's perfectly fine you take it as close as possible for your uh, however you are comfortable okay this is what we are going to start our warm-up with you keep your place your legs hold your legs with your fingers just cross your fingers and hold your legs and together with me, you are going to up, down, up, down. We are going to do this continuously as fast as you can, just like a butterfly. We are doing the butterfly pose. 
this warm up your hips so here this entire region your thigh your inner thigh muscles all these muscles are going to loosen up because yeah it's going to be uh, hips pelvis and your spine today right so we're going to warm up our legs first in the seated posture okay another six more seconds we do this six five four three two one so today our sequences are going to be in a way where we will be mixing warm-up asana warm-up asana these will be mixed together so right now we've uh, shaked our legs so just release your leg in the front just relax it completely just shake your leg sideways up and down just shake your leg we have just stretched our muscles just shake it there okay so now what we need to do is on your mat I want you to be on your foes. You are going to stand, um, stand like an animal on your mat. So you have your knees placed, your toes are relaxed, your palms is placed right underneath your shoulder, and your back is straight. Your knees are slightly a foot apart. Your both your palms are placed right under your shoulder. So we are doing our warm up and our exercise together. So our warm up is going to be. When you inhale, you are going to look up, you are going to concave your back, your back, uh, your bums get pointed, your back is in an arch posture, you are looking up and face. Inhale. When you exhale, you do just the opposite. You are hunching your back, look down, your chin touching your chest. Inhale, look up. Arch your back, your bum pointing, keep inhaling. When you exhale, hunch your back, your chin touching your chest. Repeat, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Idea is to keep continuing to do this movement in your spine. You can do the movement in your own speed. Just till I ask you to stop, keep doing it. Inhale and exhale. Keep continuing it. Those of you are able to do it very freely, you can go it in my own pace. Others, you can take it slower, no problem at all. But keep doing. Inhale and exhale. When you inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, hunch your back completely. Touch your chin to your chest. Continue one last time. Inhale and hold. Be there. You're going to hold this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Chin to your chest. Hunch your back. Hold. Six, five, four, three two one now in the same posture what we are going to do is i'm going to lift my right leg in a straight line just lift your right leg in a straight line lift your right leg hold it there so today we don't have an intention to do any cardio movement we are going to activate all our hip joints our spine and our pelvis region so it's more about holding and stretching than doing any kind of quick active movements you want to lift your leg and hold it there slowly bring it back do the same with your left leg this is the warm-up stay there keep holding six five four find your balance keep looking at one spot two one Bring your left leg back. Again, slight difference. Lift your right leg. Find your balance. While you are ready, slowly lift the opposite hand. So my right leg is lifted and my left hand is lifted. Those of you are losing your balance, it's okay. You can rest your hand. Others, you have to try this. Keep looking at one spot so that you get your balance proper and we are going to hold our posture. 
this is good for your back you will you will actually feel a strain on your back which means it's a good workout for your back hold it another six seconds six five four three two one bring your hand down first leg opposite leg just raise your leg first find your balance then raise your hand keep staying there hold for another six seconds six five four i hope all of you are holding three two one slowly rest your hand first rest your leg slowly like that sit down onto your heel rest your forehead on the mat child pose take a good deep inhalation and exhalation slow down your heartbeat relax your body inhale when you're exhaling exhale through your mouth inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale i want you to slowly lift your head and look at what i'm going to do so right now you are in a child posture right you have your hand stretched and in front of you from your child posture slowly lift yourself back to the tabletop posture the animal posture slightly come forward and you're going to take the cobra pose so from child pose now together we do this slowly come up on all your fours keep coming forward make an arch of your back and look up and we are going to stay here stay there stay there look up and stay there we are going to hold the posture it's a good twist and a stretch to your back muscles stay there hold six five four three two one hold there be in your cobra don't move your posture just try to stay in that posture now just observe what i'm going to do one i'm tucking my toes with my hand i'm slowly lifting myself from cobra i am going to mountain okay so what we did was i was in my cobra right my legs are rested slowly tuck your toes in ready tuck your toes in lift yourself lift your bum lift your bum go all the way up mountain when you have your posture ready rest your legs our intention is to try touching our heels if you think you should slightly fold your knees that's perfectly fine but others who are able to stretch give a good stretch to your legs your hamstrings give a good curve of your back try to get your don't hunch and stand like this try to stretch out your back as much as possible stay there stay there hold 6 5 4 3 2 1 don't drop suddenly slowly bend your knees slowly bend your knees drop your knees on the floor drop your knees on the floor release your toes slowly sit on your heels relax with your forehead on the mat relax with your forehead on the mat take a good deep inhalation exhale inhale exhale one last deep inhalation exhale okay now slowly lift sit in vajrasana relax yourself completely one relax yourself completely try to sit in vajrasana if anyone really have an issue with your knee and cannot sit in vajrasana you can sit in a folded leg posture but others you are supposed to be in vajrasana so please be in vajrasana 
okay so now what you're trying to do is while you're sitting in bhajrasana take both your hands behind i'm turning around to show you take both your hands behind interlock your fingers interlock your fingers stretch your hand and look up you're going to arch your back so what you are doing is you're sitting interlock your hands stretch your hands look about arch your back and stay there let your spine feel the stretch stay there 6 5 4 3 2 1 slowly come up release your hands just twist around so that you know how to relax yourself this in your own pace just twist relax your hands twist and relax your hands completely okay so now we are going to include a while you are already in vajrasana we are doing a small breathing practices also in uh, in between it's not always that every time you should do breathing only at the end there's nothing like that you can include your breathing practice any time during the sequence today because we are not doing anything with high intensity cardio movements we're doing very slow movements but it is intense because we are holding them right so to calm ourselves instead of taking just a random rest we can always include a breathing practice in between so while you're seated in vajrasana what i need you to do is take your right hand fold it fold your thumb your thumb goes inside remaining four fingers make a fist okay your hand is behind left hand hold your right wrist okay your right hand is in a fist left hand hold your wrist okay this is your posture this is how you are going to be seated i need you to do is we are going to do the diamond pose vajrasana we are going to do the vajrasana breathing so what we are doing is while you inhale stretch your hands look up and inhale do it together inhale widen your neck expand your chest and inhale when you exhale go down go down go down touch your forehead on the floor once you touch the floor just relax your shoulder relax completely be there inhale come up go all the way up stretch your back exhale come down touch your forehead on the floor relax your shoulder inhale together slow and steady go as back give a good stretch to your back exhale come down touch your forehead on the floor relax on the floor one last time inhale hold your breath exhale come back down relax your shoulder now slowly from here release your hand one by one slowly come up back to vajrasana so your back is fully worked out your back is fully stretched we are not doing any high intensity back bend or anything because i'm sure we will be having people of multiple levels of practice here so this with these exercises what we have done right now is every single all the expansion that you did and contraction that you did every single vertebrae in your spine they have been expanded contracted expanded contracted so they've got a good warm up so the entire back feels good you don't feel extremely tired but you feel refreshed and good we're going to repeat the same to the other parts of the body so first i need you to start with begin malasana so malasana is something you will try you know how to sit in an uh, indian closet right toilet we are going to be in malasana just place your legs on the floor try not to sit like this i want to you to try and put your feet your heels also on the floor those of you who are not able to balance yourself slightly go down use your hand but i want you i want your feet to be on the floor just be there try to find your balance 
find your balance others who can easily do this try to get your leg into a straight line as straight as possible it's okay it doesn't have to be an exact straight line but as wide as possible others find your balance and you are going to sit as much as you can if you still don't find your balance use your try to reduce the number of your don't use all your hands try to reduce the number of fingers just just find your balance and be there others what you're going to do is a namaste with your elbows push your knees outside and we are going to be sitting like this and we are going to hold this posture so try one thing you need to try and do is try to hold your back straight don't try to sit like this this is not what we are looking at with my elbow i'm pushing my uh, legs outside and my back is arched my back is in a straight line and find a point keep looking at one point and be there we are going to stay in this posture you will feel pain or stretch on your leg you will feel pain and stretch on these muscles but that's the good that's what we are trying to do we are going to try and we are going to open our hips be there in this posture 10 seconds come on you can do it 10 9 8 7 6 keep keep pushing with your elbow keep pushing your leg Five, four, three, two. Don't fall suddenly. We are doing this in a sequence. Hold the posture. Two, one. Use both your hands. Support, support, support on your right leg. Just use your right leg. Try sitting on your right leg. Use your right leg for support. Extend your left leg. Extend your left leg as much as possible. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm making a 90 degree ankle between 90 or even wider, how much ever possible. I'm trying to make as wide an ankle as possible. If you are not able to do 90 degree, you're able to only reach this much perfectly fine. Use your hand for support. Use your hand on the ground for support and take your legs as wide as possible. And we are going to try and be here. Just stretch your legs for a good six seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Use your hand for support. Your left leg, which is wide, bring your left leg closer. Put your weight, move your weight completely towards your left leg. Extend your right leg. Extend your right leg wide as possible and stay there. Stay there. Six, five. You feel a complete stretch in these muscles, a complete stretch, which is good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't fall. Use your hand for support. Get your leg closer. Go back. Sit into Vajrasana. Vajrasana, in your Vajrasana posture, try taking your Vajrasana as wide as possible, as wide as you can. Take your Vajrasana as wide as possible. My heels are still together. My heels are together. Just my knees are going apart as possible. Use your hand for support. Come forward. Walk your hands forward. Go down. Try to touch your elbow on the floor. Keep resting there. You will feel a good, good, good stretch on your pelvis. That is good. Try to touch your elbows. Others who can still go, keep going forward. Try to touch your forehead on the floor and be there. Try not to lift your bum. You're not lifting your bum. You're trying to place your bum there itself and your forehead on the floor. So if this is your limit, limit others who are reaching only till your elbow perfectly fine those who are not even reaching your elbow that's also perfectly fine you know your limit as i keep saying hold there six five four three two one don't jump anywhere use your hand for support lift your head walk back walk back one leg closer other leg closer, sit down properly, take both your legs front, 
Shake your legs. Shake your legs. Relax your legs. Shake, shake, shake them. Relax, relax, relax. Use your hand for support. Shake your legs and relax. Stretch your legs enough. Okay. Relax and shake your legs. One more asana before we come towards the end. What I need each of you to do is, I need you to come on top of your mat. Come on top of your mat. Take, just keep your legs as wide as possible. Keep your legs as wide as possible. You don't, you're not looking for a split or something. It needs to be more than your shoulder uh, width. That's what the intention is. Keep your legs wide. So from here, what I'm trying to do is, right now I'm looking front. My right leg faces towards right side. Only my right leg faces towards right. I can move my left leg like this as I feel comfortable. And I'm going to slowly go down. Stretch one, two, just keep stretching three, four, five. Go as much as you can. That's perfectly fine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come back up. Center. Right leg facing front. Left leg facing towards left, left side. I can move my right leg, no problem. And I go down and stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come back up. Face forward. Keep your legs in the same posture. Hold your hand on your waist. Bend forward. Bend forward, go down as much as you can. Those who can keep going down, use your hand for support. Take your hand on the floor. Extend your legs slightly more wider. Those of you cannot go further, go down, use your hand for support. Stay at your limit. Stretch your leg as possible, as much as possible, and stay at that posture. You don't have to go further, but keep holding till I tell you to come back up. Others, who can continue, your hands on the floor, firm, keep stretching your leg, slightly go down, try to touch your forehead onto the floor and be there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come back up. Use your hand here. Get your legs closer. Now everyone slowly bring your legs close. Use your hand for support on your waist and come back up. Just bend back once because we have gone forward. We need a counter posture. Go back, stretch back. Slowly inhale and come up. Relax your hands, relax your leg. Good deep inhale and exhale. You can quickly pause and take a sip of water if you would like. You can pause, quickly take a sip of water. You have 30 seconds, just 30 seconds for sure. 25 seconds. Don't, as I keep saying, don't gulp in water. You just need to sip water. Very small sip. Last five seconds. Whoever is ready, come back to the mat. Come back to the mat. Ready? Cool. Seated in feet again in your uh, cross legged posture. We are not done yet. We are not done. Sit in a cross legged posture. Just relax yourself. I know for a lot of you, we might have done too much of stretching here and there. And you might also get the feeling that, oh, my body is actually stiff. 
but then trust me flexibility is something very easily achievable for anyone and for a lot of your body parts like as simple as uh, why do my knees keep uh, keep hurting why do my shoulders keep hurting if i try to do something is because we are not using them enough so while we are trying to do these kind of exercises my hips my waist my pelvic region i'm trying to open them up i'm completely trying to open them up i'm trying to while i'm opening i'm trying to do is to relax them telling them that dude i am there for you i'm there i'm taking care of you so this is the intention we are trying to do so i want you to sit in your comfortable cross leg posture sit in a comfortable cross leg posture very few twisting movements for your back and your hip before we do any twisting movements i want you to just relax feel and try to understand close your eyes feel and try to understand which all muscles do you feel slightly strained where all do you feel that pain my inner thighs my back my hamstrings my calf the muscles in and around my pelvis region it's a good pain it's actually a good pain but just try to identify where are the areas that you are getting a pain just try to understand your body better before we move to the next asana okay i hope you have a better understanding of your muscle right now we are moving to the next asana same seated posture just get your leg in front of you just try to put your leg in front of you we are going to do slight twisting okay so what i want you to try and do is now i am in a seated posture right just for an example i have my palm placed just next to my chest i am going to turn towards my left side i am turning towards my left side what i am trying to do is i am using my palm i am going down i am not moving my leg i am not moving my leg i am trying to touch my forehead on the floor use my palm come back up go to the opposite side touch my forehead on the floor this is what we are trying to do at least three times on each side your bum will slightly move perfectly fine try to hold your legs your ankles in that same posture don't try to do this don't move around try to hold your ankle in the posture and we are trying to do this together slow and steady as much as you can together straight your spine straight breathe in twist exhale and go down come back up breathe in exhale and go down inhale come back up go down as much as you can exhale and go down come back up exhale go down last time inhale we are going to hold this time slow yes down exhale now continue breathing we are going to stay here 6 5 4 3 2 1 1 come back up center inhale exhale go down stay there 6 5 4 3 2 1 relax and come up come up twist your body relax your body this kind of twist and everything that we are doing is just because i've stretched it right now i am just telling my body cool down it's done so this is what we are trying to do is relax your body completely relax 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 take a good deep inhalation and exhalation inhale exhale one more inhale and exhale inhale exhale good now i want you to try and sit in the center of your mat um you know about hanuman asana right hanuman asana is the front split so we are not going to do any kind of split today but we're trying to just stretch our leg as much as possible so in your seated posture what you are trying to do is just your right leg just try facing towards your uh, 
right leg right side okay we are going to use a hand come back into your all four okay from your all four you remember mountain right lift your bum lift your uh, knees come to the mountain you don't have to be in a full mountain now it's just a transition phase just be in mountain now what you're trying to do is your right leg okay just your right leg place your right knee between your both hands place your right knee between your both hands your left leg is behind just be there just place your legs properly okay you place it once you place slowly drop your knees release your toes okay now my weight is still and towards my front what i am trying to do is shift my weight to my center part slowly come back up shift your weight those of you cannot do it this is where you are able to reach it's enough those of you can do it try to bring your hand back one by one lift yourself try to rest completely on this lift yourselves as much as possible if you can if you can if you cannot it's perfectly fine we'll reach there lift your hand place your hand on your knees and look up stretch as much as you can stay there look up and stay there 6 5 4 3 2 1 relax 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 place your hand try to rest forehead on the floor just rest it's a counter pose because you stretched your back right now so counter pose relax breathe in and breathe out relax now use your palm place your palm firmly lift up slowly tuck your toes in tuck your toes in lift your palm and go back to mountain go back to mountain be there be there be in mountain okay now slowly bring your left leg left knee between your hands left knee between your hands once you're ready drop your right knee relax your toes on the floor down slowly shift your weight move your hands back one by one if you can completely take off your hand from the floor and look up stay there six five four three two one use your hand for support bend down forehead on the floor be there and relaxed inhale exhale inhale exhale use your hand for support rise from the floor tuck your toes in slowly lift yourself bring your leg back to position like in mountain once you are in mountain drop your knees now you are in the four leg posture slowly come back lie down and child pose relax inhale and exhale inhale through your mouth exhale through your mouth don't use your nose inhale through your mouth exhale through your mouth when you're exhaling make that ha sound inhale through your mouth exhale through your mouth relax completely come to vajrasana from vajrasana release your leg one by one relax your leg sit in a comfortable seated posture i want you all to sit in a comfortable seated posture relax completely relax i know there are multiple places in your body which feel stressed but that's a very good stress don't don't worry at all relax completely we will breathe inhale and exhale for some good time and then we will stop i want you to place your palm facing towards the sky when you inhale you inhale full complete inhalation filling your chest inhale completely 
when you exhale you know to whistle right you round your mouth round your mouth and you're going to blow the air outside inhale inhale close your eyes and continue breathing all of you continue breathing close your eyes and continue breathing inhale through your mouth exhale inhale take your own mental count we are going to do five breath inhale one more last inhale fill your chest completely exhale rounding your mouth now breathe normally do not open your eyes keep your eyes closed relax keep breathing normally inhale and exhale feel every single part of your body relax your body your toes your ankle your shin your calf come about to your knees your thigh muscles your inner thigh muscles which you stretch a lot today your entire pelvis and groin area your waist your abdomen your chest your lower back middle back your upper back relax your body completely your shoulder fingertips your palm entirely your elbows your biceps and triceps come about to your neck your back neck front of your neck side of your neck your entire head relax your head completely close your eyes and keep concentrating between the small gap between your four uh, eyebrows keep concentrating on that small point between your eyebrows keep concentrating with your inner eye keep looking at that little small point slowly keeping your eyes closed take your arms bring your palms together in front of your chest in form of a namaste keep concentrating between that point in your eyes between your eyebrows there is that one the point of your third eye just keep concentrating on that point we inhale this time and instead of omkara we are going to chant makara mm sound together keep concentrating between that point the point between your four, um, eyebrows while you are chanting the magara inhale mm. feel the vibration relax your body when you are ready keep rubbing your palms generate heat between your palms and rub your hands and generate the heat okay once the heat is there cup your eyes transfer all that heat to your eyes warm yourselves up slowly massage your face your neck your shoulder biceps and triceps your hands neck chest your abdomen your back your thigh knees leg foot 
bring your hands back in front of your chest thank you to every single being who's being part of your life supporting you in some or the other way grateful to every single living being who has helped you in some or the other way throughout your life grateful to mother earth we end the session with a smile on your face open your palm open your eyes slowly while looking into your palm thank you